GL5. These are GL2s, by the way. GL25. Okay, video test. Um, October 5th, 2010. Private residence investigation. Um, okay, we're going to do the GL29. Good range, nice wide coverage. Basic. Okay, we're gonna walk this off from the back wall. Let's see. So I'm about four feet from the back of the walls, five, six. So that's about 40 feet. So that's about a 40 foot range. That's very good. That's very good. Yeah. Okay, so good. All right. Okay, and that was a quick test of the GL29. Alright, here we go again, testing the Ghostlight 2 IR slash UV, which is a 5 IR unit, a uh, special long range 5 IR, and um, a UV, 4 I UV LEDs as well. Switchable between just IR. That's IR. Okay. Okay, this is on just IR, and then we switch to just UV. That's UV. These are long range UVs, so they have a very narrow throw. But they do light up the room, and anything fluorescent will light up as well. Now another feature, this is off, now with the IR on, there's an additional switch that will turn on the uh, UVs as well, and so you can run IR and UV at the same time, which is actually giving you 9 LEDs right now. Of course, it's going to suck the battery down probably in about 3-4 hours of continuous use, but uh, it really lights up a room and gives you both high and low spectrum, especially if you're running full spectrum camera. This is a regular camera. Okay, now switch off the UV. Now we're running just IR again. As you can see, it lights up quite well. And we'll switch off the IR. That's with nothing. And again, with just UV. Very concentrated, long throw UV. So you guys with your deep spectrum cameras want some deep UV from far away, you will actually be able to get it now. Okay, let's switch back to IR, and again, switching on the UV mixed with IR. Okay, and that's the first test of the prototype. And we get to try this out next weekend in an investigation. UV off, and IR off.